So hello, and thank you so much for joining me here today. Today, I'm going to be doing a PR roundup or a PR haul, which basically just means that I'm going to be talking to you about the various products that I have received recently in PR. So I'm just gonna give you a quick overview on what I am going to be talking about, the brands I'm going to be talking about. So I'm going to start with Blissoma, some products that I have received from Blissoma. I'm also going to talk about some Ren products as well as a Vapor product that I received from SkinStore.com. They are doing a clean beauty campaign for the month of January, so I do also have a code with them. So I'll go into that a little bit more when we get to that section. I'm also going to talk about a Sahara Rose Cream as well as two beautiful botanical perfumes, 100% botanical perfumes. So if you're one of my perfume people, please do stay tuned until the end. Also, I will have timestamps below so that if you're interested in one particular brand, you will be able to find that very easily. So as I mentioned, we are going to start with Blissoma. They are a botanically driven brand. They like to focus on plant medicine and how herbs can help benefit your skin. Um, I am really loving this first product that I am going to talk about. This is their Fresh Mild Rice Facial Cleanser. This is absolutely beautiful. I have really been enjoying this. This is $39 for four ounces. So I really do feel like this is a very reasonably priced product for the green beauty market. This is a vegan non-soap cleanser and it is good for all skin types, including acneic as well as dry skin. On the website, it lets us know that it has a proper acidic pH to help balance the acid mantle of the skin. It also specifies on the Blissoma website that this is not a makeup remover. They do have a gel cleanser. If you are wanting to get a Blissoma cleanser that is specifically for removing makeup, this is supposed to be a morning cleanser or a second cleanse. Now I will say though that when I have had just very minimal makeup on, just sort of like a tinted moisturizer, I have used this as a first cleanse and a second cleanse and I feel like it is done a very good job of removing all of my very light makeup, but I want to specify that on the website, it does say that you don't want to use this as a makeup remover. Moving into the ingredients, it is 100% botanical. The first ingredient is an aqueous infusion of marshmallow root, chickweed, plantain, rose damascena, and chamomile. It also contains glycerin, whole brown rice flour, and then organic oils of apricot kernel, hemp, sunflower, and then it also has willow bark as well as other botanical extracts and essential oils. So I'm going to show you the texture here. So you'll see that the texture appears very smooth and creamy, which it is, but it also has a little bit of a grainy texture to it, which comes from the whole brown rice flour and kind of reminds me a little bit of the Dr. Hauschka cleansing cream, which if you're familiar with that is a little bit of a paste and that comes from that almond flour, I think it is. I'm not exactly sure if I'm remembering correctly. So this cleanser kind of reminds me of a little bit of a cross between the Dr. Hauschka cleansing cream and actually the Yina, I think it's the bioactive cleanser. I'm not remembering the exact name of the Yina cleanser, but kind of reminds me of a cross between those two. But this one from Blissoma is actually a little bit smoother, a little bit creamier, and I really, really enjoy it. It kind of took me by surprise. I didn't think I was going to love it as much as I do. The scent is really lovely. It kind of has a little bit of a citrusy, lavendery scent. It's very light, very mild. It dissipates very quickly after you rinse it off so it doesn't linger or anything like that. It's just a very pleasant experience while you're cleansing your skin with it. So overall, I have been very pleased with this cleanser. I think it's very unique. It's not quite like anything else that I have in my collection. I mean, it's kind of similar in some ways to the Tata Harper Regenerating Cleanser. I do think in some ways it's slightly comparable. So I think that if you are interested in the Tata Harper Regenerating Cleanser, which like I said, I just talked about that in my previous video where I was talking about comparable products. I think that this might actually be a comparable product, which is a lot less expensive. This is $39 for four ounces, where I think if I'm remembering correctly, the Tata Harper one is maybe be around $84, $86. So I do think this is something to look into if you are interested in that one or if you are a fan of the Dr. Hauschka 
cleansing cream, this might be something that you want to take a look at, or if you have been a fan in the past of the Yina cleanser, I think it's the Bioactive Cleanser, something like that. I'll put the exact name of that Yina cleanser down below just for reference. But anyway, I do think this is a wonderful cleanser, definitely my favorite of the three products that were sent to me. So let's go ahead and move on to that next product they sent me. This is the Lift Intelligent Energy Cream. This is $44 for 1.3 ounces. This is a daily moisturizer for mature skin. It has a satiny texture. On their website, they do talk about using it in the morning as it absorbs very quickly and makes makeup application easy. And then in the evening, they do recommend adding an oil serum if you do have dry or mature skin. This formula is also 100% botanical. It contains organic eleuthero, go-to cola, ginkgo, and mataki mushrooms. These are going to be ideal for skin that is affected by changing hormones. It also contains licorice and niacinamide, which are great for brightening your skin. This also contains evening primrose oil, which is high in linoleic acid, which is really good for your skin's barrier. Uh, it also has unrefined rosehip oil, which is really high in vitamin A. There's kapawaku butter in here, which is going to be very water binding and is also high in antioxidants. And it also contains sodium PCA, which is a really good humectant. You'll see here that this texture is actually very thin and absorbs really quickly. And then definitely leaves that satiny finish, not super glowy or super dewy. So for me and my needs, this is definitely a daytime moisturizer. It's definitely not moisturizing enough or emollient enough for me to use by itself at nighttime. In fact, I just don't reach for this at nighttime because I do want something a little bit more emollient. Even adding an oil with this wouldn't be quite enough for me. Definitely not in the winter time, maybe in the summertime. I haven't had this in the summertime yet, so I could maybe make it work in the summertime with adding a couple of drops of an oil serum. So stay tuned on that one for the summertime. But for the daytime, it's actually a really lovely moisturizer. I have actually been getting a lot of good use out of this over top of serums and then underneath a sunscreen, in particular a sunscreen that I do find to be very moisturizing like the Josh Rosebrook one or the Hanua Malu. And then in addition, underneath a tinted moisturizer that is very moisturizing and emollient, like for instance, the Tower 28 Sunny Days. I have found it to be a very lovely daytime moisturizer and I really, really love the ingredients, in particular the licorice and the niacinamide. The evening primrose oil I think is a really beautiful ingredient. So overall, I am really impressed with the ingredients in this Blissoma Lift Intelligent Energy Cream. I do think it's actually a really nice price point for a product that has really lovely ingredients and the herbal extracts in here are really beautiful. So I do really like this one. And then one. lastly from Blissoma, they sent me their Lavish Loving Recover Beta Glucan Mask. This is $50 for two ounces. This is a creamy moisture mask for irritated, dry, inflamed skin. And the recommendation for this mask is to be used once a week. Here you can get a little glimpse of the texture. It is really, really smooth, very creamy, and feels really luscious and nourishing on the skin. And so let's talk about what makes this so creamy and luscious. There's organic oat milk in here, as well as reishi and maitake mushrooms. And let's talk about the beta-glucans that are in the oats and the mushrooms. These help decrease inflammation and provide really deep hydration because apparently beta-glucans are special sugars that are able to penetrate very deeply into the skin. There's also kapawaku butter in here. And as I mentioned before, because kapawaku butter is also in the Lift Intelligent Energy Cream, this is an ingredient that is really good for moisture retention. It has good water binding properties. And there's there's also organic oils of baobab, pomegranate, perilla, and pumpkin in this lavish, loving, recover beta-glucan mask. If you watched my last video on Tata Harper, kind of the is it worth it video, I did talk about my more recent move 
into using masks that are very soothing, less active and more nourishing and soothing. And so this mask is just right up my alley right now in terms of wanting those types of masks. So this is a very nourishing mask. It feels very lovely on the skin and I really have enjoyed it. I have only used it once and like you would expect from a mask like this, it didn't cause me any irritation. It just felt very soothing and very lovely on my skin. So I am really looking forward to using it more. It's just the perfect kind of mask to use in the winter time. I do love to do the mask and bath thing where you know you just wear a mask when you're in the bathtub and this is the perfect kind of mask for that. So I'm really looking forward to using it more, but so far just using it the one time, I really did enjoy it. So overall, these three products from Blasoma, I have really been enjoying. The Mild Rice Facial Cleanser is definitely my favorite of the three. I really, like I said, I was really taken by surprise by this product. I didn't think I was gonna like it so much, but I really, really do love it. And I could really see purchasing it for myself in the future. So huge thumbs up for that one particular product. Uh, but in general, these three overall, I have really been enjoying. So thank you so much to Blasoma for sending these my way. And then I just realized at the top of the video, I forgot to mention that I was gonna show you guys these travel cases from Paravel. This is not a sponsored video. I wanna clarify that none of these brands are sponsoring this video. So just want to make sure you guys are aware of that. These were sent to me in PR, but just wanna say none of this is sponsored. But I do wanna say thank you to Paravel for sending me these. These two cases are a part of their See All Bundle their Cabana Sea All Bundle. Unfortunately, I have not had the chance yet to travel with these, but I think these are so cute and I love that they are see-through and you get both of these in the travel bundle. They are made from upcycled plastic bottles. The leather details are eco-certified by the Leather Working Group. They are water resistant with eco-friendly silicone to protect from stains. And yeah, I just think these are super cute. I love how you can see through them. I'll show you a picture here that I shot from Instagram so that you can see them with actual products in the little travel cases. But yeah, I just think these are so sweet, really beautiful. You can actually get them monogrammed. I chose not to, they offered that to me, but I don't know, I just didn't wanna get them monogrammed. But you can get them monogrammed. I think both of these are 135. I think they have some kind of a special going right now where you can get $15 off, but I just wanted to show these to you because I do think they are super cute. And I also wanted to thank Paravel for sending them my way. Okay, so moving on to more beauty products. These are from skinstore.com. Like I was saying, they have a clean beauty campaign rolling right now. I think through the month of January, I will clarify down below how long my code is good for, but the code is Trish, T-R-I-S-H for 25% off. I think there might be some brand exclusions, but I think you should be able to use my code with most of the brands in the Clean Beauty campaign. So first I want to talk to you about the Ren Garinade Salt Exfoliating Balm. This is $38 for 11.2 ounces or 330 mils. For those of you who have been frequenting my channel for a while, you know that I have mentioned the Ren Moroccan Rose Body Scrub or Body Polish, I forget exactly what the name of it is. I absolutely love that one. I am just completely in love with it. So it took a lot of will to try a different one, but I thought for reviewing purposes, it made a lot of sense. So I decided to try the Garinade, I don't, Gar, Garand salt. I know I'm saying that incorrectly, but anyway, I wanted to give this one a try and I'm so glad I did because it is really, really lovely. I don't know if you're gonna get a good idea of the texture just seeing it in the jar, but this is one of those really creamy kind of scrubs that is more like one of those emollient type of scrubs that you rinse off and then it leaves the moisturizer on your skin after you rinse it off. The scrub itself is sea salt and then the scent is so lovely. It is peppermint, basil, and rosemary. So it is very aromatic, it's very herbal, and it just fills up the shower with that aroma that feels like it's going to clear out your sinuses. So if you have a cold or you're feeling kind of stuffy or you just need to wake up in the morning, 
this is one of those scents that does the job. So I really love this scrub. I'm really glad I tried it. Big recommendation for this one. I'm so glad I gave it a try. So if you like those emollient type of scrubs, definitely do give this one a look. Another product I'd never tried from Ren that I wanted to check out was their Rose Purity Cleansing Balm. This is $34 for 3.3 ounces. This is one of those cleansing balms that does emulsify off with water. This is a huge hit for me. I really love it. It has a beautiful scent of rose and chamomile. I'll go ahead and show you the texture. It's just that typical thick, creamy cleansing balm that has a beautiful slip, creates a really lovely medium for facial massage. The scent is beautiful. It smells of rose and chamomile, and I just really love it. I love the slip of it. Like I said, I love how it provides a medium for just a really beautiful massage, and I just love it. I think it's a beautiful cleansing balm. I think it is reasonably priced, especially with 25% off. I think the tube is really great for travel. So if you've been curious about cleansing balms, especially ones that emulsify off, I think this is a really great opportunity to give this a try. And then the last product from skinstore.com that I chose was the Atlantic Kelp and Microalgae Anti-Fatigue Bath Oil. This is what the box looks like. And this is the bottle. This is $32 for 3.7 ounces. This has caprylic capric triglycerides. I think this is that refined coconut oil ingredient. I know it's derived from coconut oil and I do believe it's refined in some way. This also has microalgae oil in it. And then the scent is rosemary, geranium, clary sage, and cypress. Now I have not used this yet. I have not put this in the bath, but I will say that the scent is really, really beautiful. I do find it to be very relaxing just smelling it. What I typically do with my bath oils is I do pour them into uh, Epsom salt, so I kind of make my own homemade bath salt. So that's typically what I do. So I will report back later when this isn't empty and let you guys know how I enjoyed it in the bath, but just sort of first impression smelling this, I do feel like this smells really beautiful and I do feel like this would be a really lovely gift to give somebody. And then the last thing I chose for this clean beauty campaign with skinstore.com is this vapor primer. This is their gentle illuminating primer. This is $50 for, let's see, how big is this? 30 mils, so one ounce. I have not used this yet, so I can't speak to it, but just to give you a little bit of an idea about it, they say that it is equal parts skincare and makeup. They say it gives you a naturally soft, luminous finish. It's going to blur the look of skin imperfections and also color corrects. You can use it alone or under your foundation. It does have organic prickly pear seed oil in it. It's got camellia and pomegranate in it. So those are very lovely skincare ingredients. It also has um, elderberry, which is a really nice antioxidant in it. So I am looking forward to using this. If you have used this, if you guys have experience with this product, I am really curious to know what your thoughts have been about this as a primer. And of course, after I use it, I'll let you guys know what my thoughts are about that product. And then moving on to the last skincare product of this PR Roundup, this is the Sahara Rose Sumptuous Regenerating Cream. This is $65 for 50 mils. This is a rich face cream for dry, mature skin. Now this is a very thick, emollient, creamy cream that does feel very dewy and rich on the skin. And because of that, for my more mature skin that does lean a little bit dry, especially in the winter time, I do find that this is a really lovely cream to use at night as well as during the day. I can get away with using these heavier creams both day and night. This has a really beautiful ingredient deck. It has prickly pear seed oil, which as you probably know, has powerful antioxidants. It's high in vitamin E and K and essential fatty acids. There's also argan in here, as well as moth bean extract. As you guys know, I love moth bean. If you're interested in learning more about moth bean, I will link a video up here. That video also talks about bakuchiol. So if you're interested in moth bean and bakuchiol, definitely do check that video out. This formula also contains ceramides as well as saffron. Saffron is also a really lovely skin brightener. There's also rose water and aloe vera, which are both very soothing, calming, and hydrating. And then also, 
niacinamide is in here, which is just an amazing ingredient. It does so many different things, including brightening your skin, calming your skin, hydrating your skin. So this is a really beautiful formula. I highly recommend it for those of you who are looking for a bit of a thicker cream. If you don't want a cream that absorbs a little bit too quickly or has too satiny of a finish, if you want something that does feel a little bit richer, a little bit more emollient, then this might be a cream that you would like to check out. I do have a code with Sahara Rose, so you can check that out down below. If you are going to check out Sahara Rose and you are looking for a vitamin C serum, then I would definitely check that out as well because that is definitely definitely one of my favorite vitamin C serums, if not my favorite vitamin C serum, which also does contain mothine. All right, so we are going to move into the perfume discussion. First, we are going to talk about Rose Love from Ojai Wild. This is $130 for one ounce. This is 100% botanical. The first thing I wanna show you is the beautiful box, Ojai Wild makes such beautiful boxes. And I have to point this out to you. The lip on this box, so that when you pull it, you don't inadvertently rip the box. So it just makes it so easy to open the box. So just that little detail makes me just appreciate this box even more. I mean, obviously I appreciate the beautiful art on here. I love the design, but that little lip is just that beautiful detail that just makes me fall in love with it even more. And then the bottle is really beautiful. I love the elegant simplicity of it and then the wooden top. But of course the most important thing is the perfume inside. So let's go ahead and start talking about this. This perfume is based around the Memorial Day Tea Rose Extract that apparently took two years to grow and extract um, in Ojai. So Ojai Wild is based in Ojai, California. So it took two years to grow. So obviously there's been a lot of love and care around these roses that were extracted for this beautiful perfume. So because it's based around this Memorial Day tea rose, I thought that this fragrance was going to be really just like straight up fresh rose fragrance, but this perfume is actually deeper than that and actually more complex. So I do have this sprayed here on my left hand. And I will say that this perfume starts off a lot greener and even spicier than I thought that it was going to. Like I said, I thought it was going to be more of a rose solo floor, but when you spray it, it's definitely a lot greener and not really sharp, not as sharp as I would have thought it would be because there is galbanum in here or galbanum, galbanum, I'm never sure exactly how to pronounce it. I'm gonna say galbanum because that's how I've always pronounced it. Galbanum can tend to be a sharp green top note, but this one is actually a little bit more spicy. Also at the beginning, it's kind of woodsy right off the bat. So it's kind of green and spicy and woodsy, but then as the heart develops, you get more of the rose. And I will say that the rose isn't like that super fresh, like bright, fresh rose. It is more of a deep kind of powdery rose. And I think that's because there's frankincense and sandalwood in the notes. So it is actually, like I said, I thought it was gonna be like this bright, fresh rose, but it's a little bit deeper, spicier, powdery. Um, a little bit more of that kind of wintry rose and maybe it's because it's the winter time right now and that's kind of the vibe I'm getting like kind of more of that cozy wintry kind of cuddly type of rose vibe from it but like I said there's frankincense and sandalwood in here so it just feels more resinous there's also jasmine sambach in here and if you guys frequent my channel you know how much I love jasmine sambach this doesn't really give me a lot of the jasmine type smell from here, kind of like that really heady white flower type of jasmine. What I do get from here though is more of that resinous type of jasmine. For me, Jasmine Sambach gives me that resinous warmth, kind of that animalic warmth that you would experience from like bees buzzing around their hive. I don't know, it's, it's kind of difficult to explain, but I get that warmth from Jasmine Sambach. And this this is kind of what I get from this particular perfume. So a resinous warmth from it, and but with that suggestion of the tropical jasmine white flower to it. But 
I will say it's really all about the rose. There's a little bit of the neroli and ylang ylang in here. Those are listed in the notes. I wouldn't say either one of them is very overarching in this particular fragrance. I think they're just kind of like supporting notes in this perfume. Like ylang ylang can be a little bit fruity, almost like a juicy fruit, you know, gum type of fragrance. And then with the neroli, obviously that's a little bit more on the citrusy type of side. So there's a little bit of both of those in there, but again, not really explicit. They're more just kind of supporting, I think, to give the rose a little bit more body. And then as the dry down evolves, which is what is happening on my wrist right now, because this perfume's been on my wrist for a couple of hours now, I would just say that the resinous quality, like that resinous rose quality just becomes even more apparent and a little bit more heightened. And then the sandalwood starts to shine through a little bit more, which has a really lovely buttery quality to it. So I would say overall, my experience of this perfume is a resinous rose that has a rich kind of powdery experience to it, but not powdery in like a suffocating way or a really hyper vintage way. It feels modern for sure. And I really like it. And I think it's a really lovely perfume for the winter. And I don't know if because it's cold outside right now, if that sort of like cozy vibe is what is really heightened for me in this moment. I am very curious to wear this in the summertime and see if maybe that more tropical experience of the jasmine becomes more heightened for me. So stay tuned on that. I'll let you guys know what this feels like in the summertime for me. But right now I really feel like this is a beautiful perfume for the winter time. I will let you guys know that this is a cologne. And so the longevity of it isn't going to be super long. You know, if you're used to perfumes in the conventional world that will last for hours and hours, like 24, you know, 12 hours, 24 hours into the day's realm, uh, you will be a little bit disappointed in this. This lasts for maybe, you know, three to four hours. I personally love the experience of botanical perfumes and reapplying it. I think that's part of the kind of like ephemeral nature and the beauty of botanical perfumes, but just sort of giving you guys that like anticipatory guidance of what it means to experience a botanical perfume that is part of it. Anyway, beautiful perfume from Ojai Wild called Rose Love and definitely check out the website. She has beautiful perfumes and she has branched out into some skincare, I think maybe even some candles. So next up is the Green Night. This is a botanical perfume from Illuminated Perfume perfume. If you all are not familiar with Roxana Villa, I have been reviewing her perfumes since 2009 when I had my blog called Scent Hive. So I'm very familiar with her perfumes. I love her perfumes. If you guys have been with me since the Scent Hive days, definitely leave me a comment down below. I would love to hear from you guys if you have been with me for that long. But anyway, let's talk about the Green Knight. And this perfume too has Rose and Galbanum in it, but it is quite different from Rose Love. And this perfume comes in two different forms. And Roxana sent me two samples. She sent me a sample of the solid as well as the sample of the liquid perfume. And there is a very beautiful Green Knight ritual box that is available on her website site that I will link to below. And what this ritual box contains is you can either get a solid fragrance or a spray fragrance, or you can get both. The ritual box also contains this soft cover line journal with a blind embossed graphic that was created by Roxana. And then finally, this ritual box contains a postcard with an image that her husband, Greg Spelanka designed and it talks a little bit more about the ritual around this fragrance on the back. So let's go ahead and dive into this beautiful scent. Like I mentioned, it has galbanum and rose in it. It also has pinion, labdanum, and artemisia in it. So I am going to talk about the spray perfume first, which on the outset is very green. It is a little bit bitter. So unlike Rose Love, which doesn't really have much of a bitter quality to it, this one has a little bit of a bitterness to it, which I think might be amplified by the Artemisia. I've never really experienced Artemisia by itself, so I can't really speak to it, but when I looked it up, 
Um, it was described as being very bitter, green, and herbal. So I'm kind of thinking that the sharp quality of galbanum might be heightened by the Artemisia. So anyway, the beginning, the, you know, the opening of this perfume definitely has that, you know, rich green, but kind of sharp and bitter quality, which is actually very beautiful. It feels like you're, you know, walking through a forest that feels very fertile and very rich. So you do kind of get that like forest embrace from this fragrance on the outset. And then if you're familiar with labdanum, it definitely evolves into that labdanum experience, which feels very leathery, very sweet, a little bit powdery, and also animalic. So if you're familiar with labdanum, you'll definitely know what I am talking about has that richness to it that feels kind of velvety also and just really smooth and again just kind of enveloping. I'm not familiar with the Green Knight but I believe it is either a character in a poem maybe based on an Arthurian legend but anyway it is just obviously encompassing of the forest and legends around the forest so you definitely get that feeling of deep forest richness as well as the soil of the forest. I would say though that you really do need to like the scent of labdanum to enjoy this perfume, especially the spray, because I do think the spray is a little bit heavier on the labdanum than the solid. I don't get a lot of the pinion from the spray perfume. So the pinion is going to be a little bit more fresh and lemony. And I do think that the solid has a little bit more of the pinion. So the solid does feel a little bit fresher to me, a little bit more on the lemony side and a little bit less strong on the labdanum. So it could just be a skin chemistry kind of thing, but that is my experience between the two formulas. So if you are going to order the Green Knight Ritual box, I would keep that in mind. I don't think the formulas are exactly the same. And while I do enjoy labdanum, I do think I like the woodsy lemony scent shining through a little bit stronger in the the solid formula. In a similar vein to Rose Love, I think the Green Knight is also a beautiful fragrance for the winter. Kind of gives you that cozy feeling, especially the spray perfume that has the labdanum in it. I do think the solid perfume might be a little bit easier to wear in the warmer months, but again, I haven't experienced both of these during the warmer months, so I will have to report back as I experience the liquid perfume and the solid perfume of the Green Knight as the months get warmer. But right now, I feel like the spray perfume is beautiful for these winter months when you want something a little bit more cozy because as I keep saying, the labdanum kind of lends itself to that. And I don't want to forget to mention that there is a giveaway as a part of this video because Roxana's husband, Greg Spilenka, who is an artist, has created a calendar and they are going to be giving away one of those calendars. So if you are interested in the giveaway for the Illuminated Perfume calendar, please do let me know down below by leaving me a comment and then do let me know what your Instagram handle is or what your email is so that I can reach you. And then I will announce the winner on Instagram stories on Sunday, January 30th. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please do give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet subscribed, I would love it if you would do so. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.